The Lord of Dreams learns that one must change or die, and makes his decision, The Sandman is the most expected Netflix show for this year. It's based on Neil Gaiman's comic book and hides a story that is unlike any other. We'll share with you some very important facts that you need to know before watching the show. The show will be based on the 1970s series of the same name. DC editor Karen Berger immediately accepted Gaiman's idea of a revival, but there was only one condition. She wanted his original ideas. The Sandman was released monthly from January 1989 until March 1996. The original series ran for 75 issues. Not many people know that the TV show Lucifer is a spin-off of The Sandman. Lucifer's Samuel Morningstar first appeared in The Sandman issue 4, then eventually got his comic, which led to a series on Fox. By the way, Gaiman wanted Lucifer to look like a young David Bowie. In the comics, Morpheus traveled to hell to recover his helm, Etrigan met him at the gates and took him to Lucifer. Dream had to engage in a battle of wits with Coronzon, who is a demon, while Lucifer is watching. When he transformed himself into Hope, the demon couldn't respond, so Dream won. The main protagonist is based on Gaiman's own wardrobe, while on the other hand, Gaiman sought inspiration from a print of a Japanese kimono. Demon, Batman, Scarecrow, Martian Manhunter, and several other DC characters made guest appearances in Sandman's early issues. The Sandman has more of an older readership and a female readership than any other DC comics has ever had. Neil Gaiman's Sandman is the first comic book to receive a literary award. It won the Fantasy Award for the Best Short Story back in 1991. Together with its spin-offs, The Sandman has won over 26 Eisner Awards. This includes one for Best Short Story, four for Best Writer, and seven for Best Lettering. Tonight, we will achieve what no one has even attempted. We will summon... It's one of the first graphic novels to reach the New York Times bestseller list. To make the success even bigger, Game and spin-off called Endless Nights appeared on this list as the first hardcover graphic novel. Although DC owns the series' ideas and properties, Gaiman retains the rights to the Sandman. This means that DC cannot make more content without Gaiman's permission. Did you know that Netflix's The Sandman is set to be the most expensive DC show ever made? The show has been rejected by HBO due to the massive price tag. The Sandman The Dream Hunters is a totally made-up story. So even though Gaiman is claiming that his story is based on an old Japanese folktale, there's no story like Sandman the Dream Hunters in the old Japanese literature. DC already had a hero going by the same name way before Gaiman introduced Dream to readers. The original Sandman was Wesley Dodds and was introduced in 1939. He was a man who carried a gun that shot out sleeping gas. Throughout most of Sandman, Dream appeared as a pale man with black hair wearing a black robe. But the truth is that all of the Endless have no true form, they appear differently to different people. Did you know that one of the Endless tried to walk away from his duties? Yes, Destruction wanted to be an artist, so when he stepped away from his duties, he started painting and sculpting. Did you know that one of the Endless may have destroyed Krypton? In the Sandman Book of Dreams, it suggested that Despair was responsible for destroying Krypton as a way to create the ultimate Despair. Gaiman's comic changed the World Fantasy Awards forever. In Sandman issue 19, Dream made a deal with Shakespeare, meaning that if he writes two plays about the Endless, then Bard's work will be remembered for all time. The thing went too far, so the comic got the World Fantasy Award for the best short fiction, and this angered many great writers. Did you know that one of the Endless has already appeared in another comic, so Gaiman had to change his contract? Death appeared in Captain Adam issue 42, where she's Black Racer's girlfriend. This made Gaiman angry, so he changed the contract with DC, and now they need his approval before they could use his characters. And imprison death. I give you Sam Keith decided to leave the series because he felt like Jimi Hendrix in the Beatles, meaning that he felt like he didn't belong there. Delirium is based on the famous singer Tori Amos. In her album Little Earthquakes, she referred to reading Sandman, and there's even a quote in the song, Tear in Your Hand, that says, if you need me, me and Neil be hanging out with the Dream King. Dream is Gaiman's new creation, but Destiny first appeared in Witch Queen of Ancient Zemiria. And even some of the people who worked for Morpheus are also from older DC books. Dream and Death shared a close relationship, whereas Desire and Dream often bear animosity towards each other. When the crisis was approaching, the Endless would sometimes have family meetings and would also make bets or challenge each other on some occasions. Did you know that the Emperor of the United States was based on a real person? Yes, that's Joshua Abraham Norton, 
and in the series, Norton was a failed businessman. Delirium, Despair, and Dream would make a bet to see whose realm Norton would come to reside in. Dream would give Norton the gift of a waking dream, and this will make Norton believe he's actually the Emperor of the United States. Hobgalding is another immortal who was a bet target of the Endless. At the bar, he said that death was a choice he would simply choose not to die. Dream and Death, who were standing next to him, decided to give him immortality and check if that would bring him happiness. Dream told him that they would meet in 100 years, and so they did. Coin made from a stone. Here it comes. I give you a feather. Here it comes. Sandman's story had tremendous success, so there have been many attempts to adapt the story into live action. Neil Gaiman and Joseph Gordon Levitt were supposed to adapt the series into a movie, and this kept the attention of the public for a while. Joseph Gordon Levitt left the project in 2016 when screenwriter Eric Heiser was brought on to rewrite the script. He quit the following day. Season 1 of The Sandman will consist of 11 hour long episodes, and all of them will be wildly different. Tom Sturge will be Dream, the Tyler character of the series. He'll be a mopey and dour entity who rules over his realm, the place where everyone falls when they're sleeping. Kirby Howell Baptiste will portray Death. She'll be the breakout character of the entire series. Mason Alexander Park will take the role of the antagonist of the series, Desire. She's a naked, pale, portly woman, one of the endless you would never want to meet. Two actors from Game of Thrones will be part of the Sandman series. Gwendolyn Christie, aka Brienne of Tarth, will take the role of Lucifer, the ruler of Hell, and Charles Dance as Roderick Burgess, the leader of the Order of Ancient Mysteries. The first season will cover the story of the Sandman, Volume 1, Preludes and Nocturnes, which follows the story where Dream is captured by Burgess and his occult followers in the early 1900s. Season 1 of The Sandman will also steal a part of the storyline of The Doll's House, a story that sends Dream on a new journey to retrieve a few of his creations who managed to escape from the dreaming. From an angel's wing. I give you the, blood. the first season began filming on October 15, 2020, and Gaiman confirmed this date on Twitter. The first season was filmed in the UK and Surrey. England was one of the main shooting locations. The Sandman's first season was finished at the beginning of August 2021. Netflix released a behind-the-scenes video of the first season last summer, which includes comments by Gaiman and a look at the show's process. Netflix has released a small first-look trailer and gave the fans a good sneak peek of Dream Story. As of right now, there is no official release date, but we know that it'll be this autumn. The teaser showed us that Netflix's show will stick to the original narrative. The Sandman has one of the greatest set designers in the business, and that is Gary Steele. The Sandman might cross over with Netflix's lock and key. Season 2 is being actively developed. Dream. You're gonna need all. On a related note, tell us down in the comments below what do you think of these ideas. If you like the video, like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you'll never miss our next videos. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.